to moisture test an entire floor using the fastest method available, use the instant non-destructive concrete moisture meter, CMEX2. The non-destructive CME test allows the user to moisture test an entire slab by taking instant and accurate moisture readings in a number of locations. Building up a moisture map of the slab which clearly identifies potential problem areas. Ensuring the surface is swept clean and dust free, first switch the meter on, then simply press the instrument down firmly against the surface ensuring the spring-loaded pins are fully depressed to take an instant reading. To follow the ASTM standard F2659, measurements should be made by taking approximately three to five readings within a square foot of one another. Always record the maximum reading at that location. Perform a minimum of eight tests for the first 1,000 square feet and at least five additional tests for every 1,000 square feet thereafter. Be aware that taking moisture readings through existing floor coverings may affect the signal penetration and could give unpredictable variations in measurements. Therefore, these readings should be used for comparative purposes or for locating high levels of moisture which may indicate the cause of a moisture-related floor failure. For the most accurate readings, remove a section of the floor covering to allow the CMEX direct contact with the bare concrete. Be very careful when removing existing resilient floor coverings, just in case they contain asbestos. The Health and Safety Executive recommended work practices for removal of existing floor coverings should be consulted. Calibration checking is an important part of every measurement tool. To check the calibration of the Tramex CMEX2, you must have the Tramex CME calibration check plate. First, switch the meter on, then press the instrument down onto the calibration check plate. Ensure the spring loaded pins are fully depressed. The meter should read 4% with a tolerance of plus or minus. 0.2%. The meter is within tolerance and so is checked for calibration. In the event that the meter is outside of tolerance, contact your local Tramex agent www.tramexmeters.com The CMEX2 can be used to test wood with a pin type attachment for resistance measurement. To take resistance measurements with the pin probe, simply plug the probe attachment into the top of the meter and press the play button until the screen reads pin probe. Then fully press the pins into the wood sample to achieve the most accurate measurement. Always ensure the pins run parallel to the grain. The pin probe function may also be used with other materials such as drywall, plasterboard or soft plaster lime render for comparative readings. This type of measurement is sometimes referred to as WME or wood moisture equivalent. Tramix would never recommend the use of pin type measurements for concrete floors and screeds as the pins cannot penetrate the surface and so the reading can be greatly affected by the ambient humidity. Plugging the high grade probe into the top of the CMEX2 instrument, the screen switches automatically into hygrometer mode, giving readings of relative humidity, temperature, dew point, and grams per kilo, all simultaneously on one screen. To switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit and grams per kilo to grains per pound, simply press the down arrow once. The Hygro Eye probe incorporates the fastest sensor on the market and will acclimate in a matter of minutes providing accurate ambient measurements. Ambient site conditions should be recorded together with moisture readings to give a full indication of the overall picture.
ensuring that the humidity levels are not so high as to inhibit the drying process. Ambient relative humidity, temperature and dew point readings should be recorded together with moisture readings to build a clearer picture of the moisture condition of the site. When used with surface infrared thermometer, it is simple to check the delta between the surface temperature and dew point temperature to ensure that the potential for condensation is managed effectively. To perform a moisture test on a concrete floor to ASTM F2170, first use the Tramex concrete moisture meter to locate the most suitable location for each test. Ideally probes should be set in locations to give an indication of the average as well as the lowest and highest moisture readings. Drill a hole to 40% of the depth of the slab and clean thoroughly with a wire brush and vacuum. Measure this depth with the ruler against the Tramex hole liner, then cut the sleeve to the required length. Insert the sleeve into the hole and push firmly into place, followed by the hydrowide probe. And cover with a protective dust cap. The Tramex hull liner is designed so that the top of the sleeve is flush with the floor. This can help avoid trip hazards and prevents disturbing the probe during the duration of the test. Tramex high grey probes have been shown to give precise readings within 90 minutes of drilling and inserting a probe. This is useful to identify when a slab is too wet to proceed with installation. To comply fully with F2170, it is important that the test is performed for the duration of time required by the F2170 standard. Since relative humidity probes can be adversely affected by concrete when it is too wet, the Tramex probes have a significant advantage over the use once type probes, in that the probes can be removed and reinserted at the end of the test period to ensure accurate results which comply with F2170. Check the reading of the probe by attaching the connector cable to both the HygroLine and the CMEX2 device. The instrument automatically switches into hygrometer mode and displays the relative humidity, temperature, dew point and grams per kilo on one screen. If the relative humidity reading is already above the specified maximum relative humidity allowed by the manufacturer of your flooring products, then the floor is not going to pass the test at this time. In this case, simply remove the sensor with the extraction tool and cap the hole with the dust cap for use at a later date. This probe is reusable. If the measurement is below the specified maximum reading at this time, then it is safe to leave the probe inserted in the sleeve and remain in the floor for the duration of the test, as specified by ASTM F2170.